Hey YouTube, welcome to part 3 of the Pop Wall Project. I had thought this would be the last part, but as it turns out, it needs a very small part 4 just to round off the video because I don't like to have individual videos for much over 10 minutes. I just cut up some 100mm uh, wide, 4mm uh, plate and drilled it for the uh, caster mounts. I'll weld them onto the legs that I put the end caps on before and um, then I'll bolt the casters onto them. Casters aren't going to be terribly straight. I drilled them, I drilled them all in a, in a block. It was clamped together but obviously they weren't clamped as well as they could have been or the, either that or the drill wanted a bit as it went down because that hole's off to the side but um, it's sort of twisted that way but there's a little bit of play in the hole size so that should work out okay and I've got some oil on these plates I'm going to use for the casters I haven't got the acetone so I'm going to try a bit of methylated spirits Hopefully that'll clean them up enough to weld. Yeah, I'm just going to try and tack these baits on first. I've got about 85, 90 amps set on the TIG. It's fairly thick. Right? sharpening that tungsten too. Make sure he's got a, a really fine point on him. Because that seems to be easier to direct the heat with. That's it. Teeth are done. And I've got to show that one off. I hope that's in the view. That's that looks pretty good to me. Maybe, maybe just a tad sagged. Yeah, still pretty good. I think I'll pass it. This is the guys on Weld.com and a couple of the other channels do better, but there's a lot of guys on YouTube who are happy with that weld. So I think I can be too. Now as much as I hate, loathe and detest getting down on the floor and working on the floor to do anything, it's the only space I've got big enough to set this up. So I'm afraid that's exactly what I have to do. I have to get the welder out, get down there on my hands and knees and weld these legs onto the frame. I've got them all positioned, squared up as best I can. Um, the frame itself isn't terribly square because it pull, pulled a lot more than I expected from the welding. Um, but given that I've leveled it all up I think it doesn't look too bad. By the time you get the pots in it, I don't think it will be as noticeable, I hope. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, here we go. Um, metal on the leg RHS is a lot uh, thicker than the SHS for the frame. So, I'm going to leave the amperage up around 100 and try and direct most of the heat into the RHS and mm -hmm. 
see him go to the back. And then I'll see if I can lift it into a better position to work on the insides. Or well the outside at least. I've got the weld, uh, i got the legs welded on uh, this one, all the legs, uh, the welds are quite nice actually, but they didn't penetrate all the way down into the corner on these sides, but I'm pretty sure they'll hold alright, they're uh, bitten into the metal, I just, I just would have liked to see them get into the corner a bit more but that's that's pretty hard to weld apparently from everything on YouTube they say so I'm happy enough with it I think it'll hold together all right we're back to finish off the welding on the uh, last frame I'm just about to weld the legs on this one zoom in a little bit this is also the uh, first use of the wireless microphone as part of the general recording of the videos so we'll just see how that goes as well hopefully it will improve the audio quality a bit now we're on the home stretch we're ready to put the small mesh around the bottom and that's to contain the ballast stones to give it some weight down the bottom so it doesn't tip over the plans give a rough idea of how this should go but it's very dependent on the size of the large mesh that you use and also on the positioning of it. So the plans are only a guideline. We need to measure what we're doing and we go from the top of the bottom uh, SHS to the top of whatever mesh ray we're going to use and in this case we're looking at about 275, we'll go to the middle of that road by looks of it. It's a nice, neat 275, check it at both ends, we should be, yep, we're spot on. 275 all the way. And I'll just check the other side to see if we can, it should be hopefully pretty much the same. Mm, it's about 277, so it's not too bad. I've set the mesh up on the table here so I can work in an elevated position. Last thing I want to do is to be working on the floor because that's just plain uncomfortable. Oh, 275 takes me just shy of this one and 280 will take me from the other side. Just, I'm going to cut just on that one. Alright, see how this goes. Recut him the same. Make sure there's no sharp ends sticking out to grab anyone. I've got to worry about all these wires sticking out here. You now I'm sort of half inclined to give them, give that paint a grind along there and just touch the ends of these with the TIG torch and uh, do, a, do a tiny tack weld just to settle them down in there so that no one will get caught on them. It's the lesser of two evils I think. 
in order to uh, TIG TIG these ends in I'm going to have to lift this back up a bit again oh, which is going to be easier said than done because I jammed it in there oh, here's the screwdriver that'll do as a lever just got to lever one side that's where I leave the tension not a hard job Alright, now I'm going to tack this wire down using the TIG, hopefully without any filler. I just want to put the barest tack just on the end of it. Now, question of amperage, certainly not much. Right around 4550. Let's see how we go with that initially. This is what I ended up doing. I've gone along and I've tacked the end of each of those wires from the bottom mesh. Originally I'd intended to tack weld the end of these meshes onto the frame. Well, when I found that the only mesh that you could buy was galvanised, I decided that I wouldn't do that. Uh, mainly because galvanised fumes aren't very good for you. But looking at it, after I put the mesh in place and seeing the sharp ends sticking there and knowing that little people will find a way to scratch themselves on it, I decided that I would go ahead and weld it anyway, mainly just to get rid of the sharp edges. In a well-ventilated room, taking proper precautions and wearing a respirator, there should be no issue. But if you don't know about welding uh, galvanised metal, it is dangerous and possibly deadly. Do not do it unless you understand the risks and know how to mitigate them. End of lecture. I fastened a small mesh onto the frame with stainless steel wire. That job's just tedious. Twist the wire up here, twist the wire up there. Okay, really important once you wrap them, just make sure you bend them with it out of the way and least chance of someone getting hooked up on them. We won't bore you with the details of wiring all this up. Suffice it to say, it's a tedious and boring job. It just has to be done, unfortunately. Well, if anyone can come up with a better idea, I did think of zip ties for this. I rejected the idea of zip ties because it's going to be out in the sun and plastic tends to go brittle after a while. But if anyone can think of something better that'll last, by all means use it because that job wasn't very pleasant. <laughs>